produce surface deep and dark. Surface web is really anything a search engine can find in the open. Think Google, think Bing, um, DuckDuckGo, whatever. The deep web is anything behind an authentication wall, like your email, like your bank account, like your corporate files, hopefully. Um, if you want Google to crawl it, then get rid of your login and let Google crawl it. If you want Google to crawl your bank account, then convince your bank to ignore username and password. Uh, the deep web is generally considered to be much larger because if everyone wants to keep their data private, it keeps it all stored away. The dark net is supposed to be this massive address space which is huge, huge, huge and contains billions and billions and trillions and trillions of things. The reality is somewhat slightly different as of right now. The surface web is roughly 315 million domain names. Um, that's quite large. You know, it resolves on two, two, address, yeah, two address spaces. There's IPv4, which is um, you know, 2 to 32, and there's IPv6, which is 128 bit. Darknet address spaces vary between 32 and 1024 bits. Um, however, while their potential address space is large, the actual use capacity is much smaller. I just picked on Tor here, it's to the 80th, it's a hidden services .onion space. It is a potentially large address space, the reality is it's not that heavily used. Um, so let's talk about these different dark nets. So the one on the left is Perfect Dark, it's a Japanese invention, it's heavily used for anime sharing, file sharing, copywriting, things like that. Um, Freenet is generally used for, uh, well, child abuse image sharing. Um, and it's a closed network. Tor, everyone's heard of Tor, you've all heard of Silver River, it's all been in the news. Um, Tor is used by anyone who wants to uh, separate where they are from where they're going on the internet. And then there's this hidden service thing, which is a closed network. And I2P is garlic routing, sort of similar to Tor, but it's also a closed network. So let's go through the there are far more. As I said, there are many dark nets. Dark nets are just merely an overlay on the existing internet. You almost always have to have such a software. You almost always have to understand how to use it correctly. So I've been through Tor, I2P, Freenet. Data Tribes is a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing where you invite your friends and it's heavily encrypted. Um, you look into RetroShare, it's sort of the same idea as an open source idea. Data Tribes, you can pay money to have faster VPN connections between each other. Tribbler is used for uh, its BitTorrent, its tracker is BitTorrent. So as soon as you fire up a Tribbler client, you can start streaming video, and most of it is used for copyright violation to share videos of whatever's out there. Uh, the idea of it being trackerless is that there is no central point to take down, you have to take down the entire network at once. Um, Tribbler is still sort of small and new. GNU.net is an open source version of many of these. It's just a heavily encrypted peer-to-peer, -peer, uses a distributed hash table, which means there's no central directory, so everyone has parts of the directory. Um, one swarm was created by the University of Washington as a um, BitTorrent sharing, trackless BitTorrent sharing, used to prove as a proof of concept that it works, but even though it has a ton of bugs in it, people still use it for things. Uh, ZeroNet is a combination of BitTorrent for file transfer, blockchain for consistent identity, uh, it uses um, Tor if you want to hide your IP address, because obviously if you're connecting straight, you can see everything. ZeroNet's interesting in that as soon as you download a page or view a web page, you're always automatically serving it back up to everybody else. So if you're very careful what you download um, or watch, in case you come across child abuse, you violate the first, first US law by possessing child abuse materials, and then you instantly serve them up and distribute them, um, which creates a kind of nightmare if you stumble into something bad. Uh, 